Shalom, praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakal, Kadash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of great new song who rule well, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. Um, this video is going to be entitled, What is this his name? What is his name? <coughs> and this video <coughs> is basically going to delve into the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. Okay, the most high power, the God of the Bible, his name is Yahweh. Okay, Yahweh meaning Yah, meaning He, and Hawa meaning to be, or is, or um, like the wind, basically, which means He's He is He is in everything, because the Lord, the Heavenly Father, He His Spirit, He's an omni omnipotent, omnipresent, He's everywhere. In this, in, within this world, man, he is the supreme being, the one above all. Okay, so and his son's name Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Salakia, Yahweh Shai, is um, the true name of the one the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which basically Yah means he, Yahweh Shai means the deliverer. But who is the, who is he the deliverer of? He's the deliverer of the nation of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel. Um, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as they're known today, but in the Bible, they're known as the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Issachar, Gad, Reuben, etc., etc. Okay. So um, I want to open up with the um, the leading scripture being the title of this um, this video. This is Proverbs 30 and 4. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered? the wind in his fists, who have bound the waters in a garment, who have established all the ends of the earth. What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou can tell. Now this shows you the fact that this is written in the word in the book of Proverbs shows you that it is of great importance that the name of the Heavenly Father and his son is to be known because it's a question <coughs> being asked to those that's out there. And we utilize the scripture really as a cut for those Christians even Muslims or anyone that believes quote unquote Abrahamic um, based uh, faiths you know Christianity um, Judaism and, um, and um, Islam okay because this is a question that's asked because basically they will all have different names for the Heavenly Father and His Son okay but He has one name okay as it tells you in the book of um Malachi, and I'll read that very quickly. Bear with me one moment. Uh, so it's in Zechariah, and in Ephesians actually as well, which I'll I'll jump to Zechariah fourteen and nine. Okay. And it reads, And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. Name one. And shall I read into that? Uh, actually, that's the point. I just want to get to the point. So the Lord's going to establish that his name is one. <coughs> After reading that, that's, and this is something we went into at the camp. Basically, look, the Lord... He had a scoffer come up and he said, like, the Lord, the name of the Lord, you know, they didn't know his name, da 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 da, etc., etc. Listen, the name of the Lord was always new, okay? Going back to when Seth, it tells you in Genesis that with Seth, men began to call upon the name of the Lord. So they had the name going back to Seth, right? And, you know, after the, the come out of the garden. Now, where it is, is that, um, I read this scripture because this will build upon the point. Hmm. Exodus 6 and 3. And it reads, And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name, Yahweh, was I not known to them. Now the Lord, obviously, when, it, when you read this, 
you have to extrapolate read between the lines because you can go into uh, the place where Abraham I believe it's in Genesis 22 where he basically built an altar onto the name of the Lord even Jacob okay what did he do he named his son one of his fourth son Judah the Howarder which has the name of the Heavenly Father in it saying thank you to the Most High so they knew the name of the Lord but they didn't know that look he, you know they didn't it wasn't it was it was he was more recognized by his title okay one of his titles being Allah Shadja but the establishment of his name hadn't been set at that point in time but it was it was basically being allocated for the time of Moses now why was it allocated for the time of Moses because the Lord w wanted to establish his glory upon the earth he wanted to personify his name okay and establish it so I'll show you this in a Romans 9 um, Romans 9 and 15 for he saith to Moses I'll have mercy on whom I'll have mercy and I'll have compassion on whom I'll have compassion okay so then it is not him of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but of the most high that shall have mercy so it's of the heavenly father that determines this that what's going to go down basically it says for the scripture saith unto Pharaoh even for this same purpose have I raised thee up Okay, now remember Pharaoh was raised up out by Joseph being sold into slavery by his brothers and then they into Egypt as a, as a slave. But then through the, the, the power of Yahweh Barsham Yahushai, he basically worked his way up in the ranks for his greatness in, in, in dealing with wisdom to be able to actually be part of the, the basically run Egypt, man, through his sayings. So that made through that, through um, Joseph's guidance, the strength of power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rokar Kadash, he basically was able to make Egypt great. Okay, and really, that the whole reason why Egypt was made great, even beyond after Joseph, because you go into the book of Exodus, the first chapter, it tells you about how the Pharaoh then that didn't know Moses was fearful that they would get so great because he saw the might of the people that he said, Leo, let's put them in captivity. So basically all that happened so the Most High could exalt Pharaoh for the establishment of his name and to and basically what's the name of what's one of the <coughs> titles placed on Israel Zion to Zion which basically means monument so as a monument unto the Heavenly Father and really to even show you he that touched the apple about touching the Lord's people to establish that yo that's nothing to be done this is my heritage you can't effort you can't do no no bad to it this 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 is who i'm dealing with that's why the lord established that so for the scripture saith unto pharaoh even for the same purpose have i raised thee up that i might show my power in thee and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth so basically that's why was, that's why he had his name allotted for that set time to when it took to for when pharaoh basically um, do his thing against um, Israel that when he take, gets taken down his name, the name of Yahweh would be personified upon this earth alright and then we have to remember that we lost our di direct link and that shows you that this is this was ordained from the spirit going back to before the Lord this, like, basically <coughs> made a partition with us because <coughs> in the Proverbs Prover 30 it says where is his name and where is his son's name showing you that his son was always in the picture from the jump all right so reason now how Yahweh Shai entered in is because we lost our our, our 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 um direct link to the heavenly father so Yahweh Shai was made as a mediator of our faith all right we became a no people we discontinued from our heritage the fallen away first and then guess what the lord made it um a sacrifice Okay, I will have you how shy 
to mediate a better covenant for us whereby we will be adopted as sons of the living power by the by the blood of Yahweh Shai. So now that's why we have to call upon the name of Yahweh Shai in order for us to have access to the Heavenly Father. All right. Okay. So um ah. Okay, I'll read this scripture. <coughs> Acts 4 and 10 Being known unto you all And to all the people of Israel That by the name of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach of Nazareth Whom ye crucified Whom also I raised up from the dead Even by him doth this man stand here Before you whole <coughs> Verse 11 This is the stone which was set on of you builders which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there any neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So the name of Yahweh Shai was given unto us as what a for, our, our main form of t salvation. It tells you in the book of John that basically we can't come up by not any other way but by the, the way of Yahweh Shai. So basically, that's the. the the name of the Lord and, the, and his, his, the Heavenly Father and His Son is basically the keys to get us out of this, to get out of such sticky situations. But it can only be done if you have the gift of faith, all right? You, go, you The Lord has to give it unto you, okay? And that's why it says wisdom, and I'll actually finish on this scripture. <coughs> It's in Isaiah 5 and 6 And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times The strength of salvation The fear of the Lord is his treasure That's the embodiment of what I just read in Acts the 4th chapter It says wisdom and knowledge Where's the wisdom and knowledge in the word? And Yahweh Shai is the word Okay Shall be the stability of that time So that's what's gonna The word is what's going to stabilize us In unstable times And strength of salvation And it mentioned that the name of the Lord is the way that we'll enter into salvation so that shows you as it said and the strength of salvation so the name the word is the bible but really the access code to that word is what the name of the, the heavenly father and his son through the name of the heavenly father through his son all right the fear of the lord is treasure so to actually fear the lord you have to acknowledge who the lord is so that means you have to have his name so that shows you this is, you know, a quick video showing you the importance of the name of the Lord. So with that, I'm going to pray you edified. Shalom.